Darkling beetles of the family Tinebryonidae are a diverse group of beetles whose diets include decaying materials or grain products. These pests are frequently found in poultry houses, act as disease vectors to poultry, and pose various health hazards to humans. People subject to prolonged exposure may develop asthma, dermatitis, or rhinitis, and may expose people and poultry to parasites. In this video, we'll go over how to identify darkling beetles, how to control an infestation, and how to prevent them from breaking out in the future. Check out the video's description for timestamps if you want to jump to a specific point. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to the wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Mature darkling beetles generally have tough, elongated, and somewhat flattened bodies that measure from 0.13 to 0.25 inches in length. Most species are dark in color, ranging from deep brown to black. They may also either be matte or shiny. The larvae are known as false wire worms, or more popularly, mealworms. They have long, cylindrical, segmented bodies that are usually pale yellow to light brown in color, and their heads are darker in color than the rest of their bodies. Mealworms have shiny exoskeletons and are covered in tiny, fine hairs. They have three pairs of small legs located just behind their heads. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the pest's presence or find activity hotspots. Darkling beetles infest where they can find organic, dry material to feed on. They are often found in sites with stored food products. These locations include pantries, kitchens, and grain silos. Check food and packaging for holes, powdery dust, or webbing. Infested food will develop unpleasant odors, discoloration, and clumping. Outdoors, they can also be found in areas where organic matter can accumulate, providing food and shelter. Look for activity in compost piles, mulch beds, leaf litter, and underneath logs or stones. After identifying your pest and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep people and pets out of the areas until products dry completely. To start, employ some Integrated Pest Management, or IPM for short. These strategies include cleaning and other cultural practices to remove the conducive conditions that allow pests to thrive. Eliminate food sources where activity has been observed. Remove animal droppings and any debris on your lawn. Indoors, wipe down countertops, sweep up crumbs off the floor, and dispose of any products that were found near the source of infestation. Even if packages are sealed, darkling beetles and their larvae can chew through thin cardboard or plastic. Next, use exclusion methods to stop further beetles from invading your home. Seal cracks and crevices with caulk or expanding foam, and ensure all doors and windows close tightly with door sweeps and weather stripping. Finally, use targeted insecticides to eliminate any darkling beetles that have established themselves. Check out Sayonara 9.7 and Pivot 10 IGR. Sayonara will kill the adult population of beetles, while Pivot prevents immature beetles from developing into reproductive adults. These products may be applied separately, but you can also tank mix them and apply them together. The mix rate of Sayonara is 0.8 fluid ounces of product mixed into 1 gallon of solution to treat up to 1,000 square feet. The mix rate of Pivot is 4 to 12 milliliters mixed into 1 gallon of solution to treat up to 1,500 square feet. To apply this product with Sayonara in 1,000 square feet, you may use 2.67 to 4 milliliters of Pivot. Indoors, clear away food items and utensils from the pantry and other areas where food is stored or prepared, then apply your solution as a surface spray or crack and crevice treatment. After application, do not replace foodstuffs or utensils until the spray has completely dried. This application may be reapplied every 21 days as needed. Outdoors, conduct a perimeter application by spraying entry points like doors, windows, and other voids that insects can use to hide or invade. Next, spray your structure's outer perimeter 3 feet up the foundation and at most 6 feet out. Do not allow people or pets around the treated area until the product has dried completely. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after applying pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to ensure it can't happen. To prevent darkling beetles from infesting, clean up your property to create an environment that's unsuitable for their survival. Maintain strict sanitation by regularly cleaning up spilled food, debris, and organic matter indoors and outdoors. 
all loose products like flour, cereal, or pet food should be stored in airtight, sealable containers. Ensure there is proper ventilation in your home and in any animal harborages to keep humidity low. Finally, make repeat applications of Sayonara 9.7 every three months to protect your property year-round. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop darkling beetles from infesting your property, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.